This video is brought to you by Humans in Education. Uh, talking about the careers in cognitive sciences. Given that cognitive sciences has been uh, very interdisciplinary, I see uh, that the career prospects can be divided into major two aspects. One is to understand the core questions uh, in the field, uh, like how brain operates, functions, what sort of uh, abstract representations that a brain creates of the environment around it. How does it predict uh, to optimize the behavior and survival and stuff like that. And the other aspect is to uh, address the application side of it. So let's say you had some findings about how brain operates, uh, let's say during sleep. And then you, you, you want to build uh, resources that consume that core knowledge uh, to solve problems maybe uh, may it be like sleep disorder or may it be like becoming more productive uh, by optimizing your sleep and so on and the other prospect which I, which i talked about is uh, when you want to answer the core research questions uh, there are different levels at which you can uh, try to address this question for example uh, there's a side which uh, considers heavy uh, biology into uh, into solving this so uh, you try to ask questions from the biochemical perspective of how brain functions or how you know different sensory mechanisms work to make sense of the world uh, other aspect comes about systems level so you have understood the molecular, uh, chemical, biological basis, but then you want to know uh, how those uh, systems operate and how those systems interact with each other. So, for example, uh, think of uh, the vision or the visuals that we see and the auditory uh, senses uh, and the information which we consume to uh, build our own models of our own unique models of surviving in this world. Uh, that, that's systems level. Another aspect which comes into and is pretty interesting to know about is the computational aspect of it. So uh, in order to make uh, more uh, sense about how these systems operate uh, in brain or how do we solve intelligence, uh, there, there can be ways to uh, computationally model those systems and by modeling those systems you can gain further perspectives build theories out of it and and try to uh, you know experiment and make comparisons of how a computational model works versus how uh, the brain operates so i think there's there's lot of uh, scope in and around because the field is very interdisciplinary it certainly uh, has uh, has a prerequisite from different fields, but then uh, you can choose one of your own and and try to build a good perspective around it to get a great career in cognitive sciences.